All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Armbadas. I could have let the song just play. <laughs> Happens every time I turn on this thing. So I've got some, uh, I've got some new. Okay, first off, comment below the sound if you're if you're hearing me out of both ears and things like that because uh, I'm I'm trying to try out some new equipment. I've got uh, a mic on me now instead of. Instead of just talking into the uh, little camera pod I got set up here. So hopefully that helps with hearing problems. Because I know a lot of folks tell me that they can't hear so well. So I'm trying to improve that hearing thing. So leather tools. I want to lay out some leather tools. I'm going to show you a kit I just picked up. I bought this with my own money. And I hope I'm not disappointed. I haven't opened it yet. And I want to take you guys and gals along if you're looking for a kit this may be the one you need so let's pull you over here i think it's pronounced simpiza I, I might be wrong i i'm thinking i'm thinking it should have been simpzilla or or like godzilla or something like that godzilla but anyways it says avoid sharp edges but you know natural selection i talk about this all the time you know if they removed all these signs People are just going to, it's just, they're going to get taken out by natural selection. I'm telling you. All right. Simple design. Simplify your life. All right. So it's supposed to be leather craft tools, but let's get into it. Let's open this guy up. All right. I've got a piece of scrap leather here we can play with. Thank you for shopping with us. Go away. All right. I always love unboxing silly stuff. So you get a nifty little bag. This thing's pretty solid zipper works okay you get the easy adjustable stitching groover okay we get a stitching groover how to make a key holder in a key chain how to make a key chain okay so it takes you through there's a little project they've thrown it here you can learn how to make a key chain which is cool wow you've got uh punches for stitching and everything in here very cool all right let's see and there's your cutout your template that's neat all right so these are great for dabbing on dye or sheen or whatever without getting it all over you these are great for uh for dye and stuff let's just kind of lay that out there and then when i'm done i'll I'll be able to take a picture of all this stuff just kind of laid out. Uh, these are your pro uh, bushing awls. So these are awls. Let's take a look at the awls. Go on now. Little plastic baggies. All right. So you've got that's just a hardcore awl right there. It's just a sharp needle. So this one's just a sharp needle. It's in a case encased in this. So that's for like a punch. So you've got a punch here. Then looks like you've got, that's a nice little awl uh, place for a thread. So you can punch in thread, bring it around, pull it back out. That's how that would work. Same thing here, a little bit different shape. This is your pulling awl. So uh, this you punch in and you can loop into a piece of thread and pull it through. So you can run that for like, uh, kind of like crocheting in a way. All right, the, this is your craft tool spacer set. So this is pretty nifty. The way this works on leather, so you can just put it along the edge of whatever your project is. And just like that, you've got nice marks for, a, uh, for your stitching right there. So that's perfect spacing for stitching. So that's a nice little tool to mark. And if you get the if you get the material wet, it's easier for it to make that uh, impression. Uh, looks like you've got some thimbles. These are finger, uh, yeah, finger cots. These are just to keep from uh, getting your finger all jacked up, you know, pushing on things, and keep from getting stabbed or whatnot with the items. There's that. Let's see. There's this guy here. This is scissors. Interesting. Very interesting. These are kind of like what we used to refer to in the military as IP scissors. And that's pretty much what these are exactly. They're just IP scissors. So let's just take a look. So you got like a piece of thread or something. 
that's like IP scissors. Very cool. See, to apply more tension, just simply push in that direction like this and press down harder and it'll tighten it up. To loosen it up, just simply mash down on it. All right, there's your scissors. You get a nice pair of pliers and these are flat nose pliers. There's no, uh, the thing is with leather, you don't want to have a bunch of tool markings on something. So there's no teeth in here. It's just a blank, blank metal uh, design. Not, not any markings or teeth. Here's some wax. This is, this stuff is great. I mean, I, you can use bowstring wax or so many other things, but they give you, uh, they give you the actual wax that you would use. Uh, it helps with weatherproofing and things like that. All right. You get a file. That file can work for sharpening edges. This is a leather edge uh, uh, grinding and polishing tool. So you can polish. It, it does work pretty good on polishing corners and things like that, cleaning things up. Because most of the time you'll see me use a drill with a sanding disc on it to do an edge. You could use this to do the edge. There's a thimble. What else we got here? This is your... This, here's another one of these. These, man, that was a crazy looking one. Let me see if I can get it out of here. Yep, rubber bands all over it. I know a lot of folks have always wanted me to do tools. Why don't you do tools? Okay, I will do tools. That is a nice little edger. Look at that. It's like a spur. All right, let's see what that does. It's a little bit more pressure and a little bit more well-defined holes. And they're further spaced apart, so they're not uh, they're not in the same distance. They're a little bit further apart. So if you need your stitches to be just a little bit further apart, that would work out great. What we got here? Now this is something I've been needing. See, most of this other stuff I really didn't need so much, but I did want to do a video on basic tools for someone to have. And it's a great little kit to, to put together here. This is your... Um, uh, this is your easy adjusting uh stitching stitching groover and assuming you would do let's see, tighten that up pull this out and so along those lines yeah just like that so if you need to make your stitching groove just bring it out to where you need it like here and it'll follow right along that line perfectly I just gotta pull that out <laughs> now it makes you a nice little groove in the right distance right so if I need to go all the way in then I just simply adjust it all the way out and it'll go all the way in for me and do the same exact thing but way over there so it just helps me measure my spacing I need Typically, just bring it into a location like that, just to put it in storage. That over there. What else we got? A whole assortment of needles. These are great. These are really great. Uh, I wish I would have gotten a better collection of needles starting out. You know, I I run with a certain set. They've got the one that I use the most in here. The curved needles, not so much, but I do use. Um, when it comes to uh, stitching, I usually use one that's just like this one. You know, it's pretty basic. And there's one in here that's identical to it, which is perfect. There's some heavier needles in here, which is great. for. It, it has a blade design to it. So it's like ripping and cutting as, it's, as, as you push it in. So, I mean, uh, but if you already, if you do like me, you, you punch all your holes... This is for someone that's going to be uh, punching holes as you go. You should have another tool in here. Let's see what else is in here. There should be something else. I think that's it. But you can get, um, as it gives you this, uh, this is for punching right here. And I already used something like that for punching. And I won't use this. I use my drill. So I won't need that. And let's see. There is a tool you can get let's see they show it in here but it doesn't come with it now this you could pick up at any arts and crafts store but 
this is great for putting your stitches in. They make it in the two hole and then you've got your four. And I've seen people use a kitchen fork and they simply they simply grind down one side of it and make it nice and sharp. But that's something else that you can do. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, uh, there's nothing wrong with this kit. It's got a decent price to it. I'll have it in the drop down. And like I said, it's just, just something that I purchased myself. And But if you're interested in it, I'll put it in a drop down so that you can find it as well. Because a lot of folks usually want to do that. Uh, but this is um, uh, this is this is interwoven. It's it's this is woven. This isn't like this stuff up here. There's I've got some stuff here that's cheaper, like this. There's a stitching tool that I've got that, that I've used a few times. This is a little bit different than this. This is not woven the same way as this. This looks heavier duty than this. So you're getting better. Looks like you're getting better twine than this stuff that I picked up, and and you even get um, you even get the same. This is the color that I use all the time on the channel. And here's some black, and then they even throw in this brown. It's like a reddish brown color. Let me see if I can zoom in on that so you can see it. There you go. It's like a reddish brown, and then there's this one here, which I use more often on the channel. There you go. Okay. Just make sure you can see that. That's really all I got in, in testing of the stuff. That's about all I can do with it. I just wanted to share this little kit. It's um, It's got your general basic tools to get a person started. And this, like I said, I got this. These two items here I did not have. And I wanted the other items because I'm kind of starting to collect some tools. And it never hurts for me to grab more needles or wax or pliers. You know what I mean? So the kit wasn't hurting me none by buying it. And plus that way I can actually show you guys some of these items. But this is the one item that I really wanted the most, this tool. Because I have some like it for artwork, for feathering and things. And um, let's see. There's this one here. And this one, this groover here works really good. It's got a nice little bite to it. There's no problems with this, but this is more for artwork. Um, if you're doing a lot of designs with feathering and stuff. And if you're getting into um, snaps and buttons, I highly recommend getting a real uh, one of something like this. That way you don't dent any of your snaps and, and things like that. And it comes with all your punches and everything. So I've got a full scale punch kit. And when it comes to... Uh, uh, when it comes to, um, so I've got this tool here. For this guy, since I'm doing tools, I might as well talk about them. Let's see, but you've got this guy here, and it's got all your little, uh, uh, your artwork to go around your uh, projects. It's got every one of them, even little half moons and things like that. There's your little half moons. But you just simply get the project damp. You attach these onto here and hammer away all the way around and then uh, if you're making like a checkered pattern or something like that there's a technique you stamp here stamp there stamp here stamp there you just go back and forth left and right left and right all the way across it and uh, eventually it looks like you've basket weaved into a piece of leather it's not that easy it's easier said than done but it'll take practice for you to get it right so it doesn't look all jacked up. But uh, this is me sharing. I guess I can throw these out on the table too. This is me sharing some leather craft tools and items. And this is a little kit that, that someone out there could pick up and buy. I think it'd be a cool little kit to have. All right. All right. I hope this helps you with your little projects and things. And uh, let me know what you think. If the sound was okay or if it's jacked up. Just let me know. Be honest. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. You're watching SOS. I'm Stassar and Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. God bless.